Hi everyone. Um, on Instagram, I uh, did a QA story. So this video, I'm going to do a QA, and I'm gonna continue with this coloring of this drawing. So let me set this up. And let's start. Is this? Oh, I take the brushes. Um, first question: How much time do you set aside a day to sketch? Uh, in my sketchbook um, or typical workday, I'm going to work and then I sit half an hour in the in the train, and that's my first so first half hour. And during lunch, I draw with colleagues. Uh, half an hour and when I go back home I draw half an hour in my schedule so I draw on uh, on a work day one and a half hour uh, in my sketchbook and besides that uh, in the evening I do yeah, drawings like these so um, yeah besides my typical job uh, I draw one and a half hour in my sketchbook and besides that in the evening two hours or something like that. And yeah. How to think of shape that attracts while doing characters? Uh, yeah, shape is important. Um, yeah, like with these characters. Um, yeah, this, for example, this head has a special shape so um, you can also what's also fun is you what's good practice is that you can just start with yeah making some strange shapes and look if you can make a head uh, an, uh, head of it so maybe if you then draw you have this shape and then you, and then you can draw within so in this case maybe Maybe this is the hair. Maybe it's an Elvis kind of character. Or if you have a different shape, uh, maybe you can draw an old lady from it. So you can, it's a good practice to just start drawing some random shapes and draw characters in it. So, like this. Um, how long do you take for sketch? Messy sketch or detailed? It depends. Uh, I usually, like for my sketchbook, I try to do two pages a day in my sketchbook. So for that I have one hour and a, and a half to do that. And with these characters, yeah, I don't know, I just took my time until I think it is right. And I think especially when you just start out with, uh, yeah, with drawing don't worry too much about time um, just learn to draw first and then and then start worrying about time but first take your time if you're learning something new how do you do proportions for uneven shapes how do you uh, hmm, i don't think i've uh, really get that questions but proportions are really important like with this character uh, you want to have contrast so yeah uh, small head big chest and s this small or th maybe this is medium this is big and this is small and what i mean about it is that 
the head is medium, the body is big, and the hips are small. It's like you're drawing a snow snowman. If you draw a snowman, you do like this. And um, yeah, using different proportions makes it interesting. For example, if you use three balls of the same size, it, it's boring. But if you make first a big ball, then a small ball, and then a medium ball, it gets already way more interesting. For example, if you make a character of it, it's yeah, it's already more interesting than if you use even shapes. So yeah. Uh, when did you first start discovering your style? I don't know. I don't try to worry too much about style. I think that's something you develop over time. Just st start with learning from artists you like. And it also is a good tip that if you have a favorite artist, l look up what that artist in, uh, influences are. Um, so you go back in time and so you don't copy your favorite artist, but you learn from the uh, the art that influenced your favorite artist. And that can be so, um, yeah, you can learn so much from that. For me, that's all the old Disney uh, animators, of course, but also from the old uh, Looney Tunes uh, um, designers. How do you know what to draw? Yeah, okay, let me. Um, yeah, some, sometimes I feel uninspired, and what helps me is to just start drawing something. Um, like in my sketchbook, I just pick a theme and start drawing it. For example, sharks, and then I Google sharks and then I start drawing and once you start drawing um, the inspiration comes comes itself it uh, yeah so just start drawing and if you don't feel really inspired just pick something really cliche and maybe and then at least you're doing something and that's also important. If you want to become an artist, it's important to draw a lot. And so it's good to just start doing something. Maybe you can, uh, if you're in the train or in school, draw people around you or draw the environment around you or, or the animals you see or whatever. Um, where did you feel the most comfortable comfortable to create um, yeah at home here behind my computer um, but it's also important to learn to deal with drawing places where you're not comfortable like for example I work in a studio and there are 30 people around me so <laughs> in, in the beginning that was kind of hard because yeah, I need to get used to the idea of people always looking over your shoulder, etc. So drawing in the train with strangers around you is really a good exercise to get used to have people around you and drawing. Especially the people in the train, yeah, you don't know them, so um, you shouldn't care that much. But then at least you you uh, train and uh, yeah, you get used to it and that can help you later on if you're working in a studio etc because you have to deal with it uh, how about you like how about you like to draw that's a strange question is there more what you like to draw i don't know what the question is about 
Where do do you get your ideas from? Yeah, what, what I just told. Uh, yeah, some random stuff. Uh, today I was drawing um, during lunch. I was thinking, oh, what, what am I going to draw? And I saw this artist that is on holiday and he's drawing people around him. So I was thinking, oh yeah, and I saw uh, outside of the window, I saw a terrace with, with tourists. So I start drawing those people on that uh, terrace. So yeah, sometimes from life, sometimes from different, sometimes I'm inspired by, um, by a uh, different artist. And then, uh, yeah, so I don't try to make it too hard for myself. I started a personal project and um, it's a story about an elephant and a small girl. So if I have more time, I start uh, drawing with that. And now, now I'm just drawing some sci-fi characters b because it's yeah, it's cliche, but uh, it's something I enjoy doing. And I wanted to do a uh, character lineup of that with robots, aliens, and uh, superheroes. What are your influences and which stage of the painting process do you enjoy the most? Uh, I like sketching the most. So that's also because it's fast and you can yeah you can create your own stuff and then uh, when you're done with it you start with something else. And my influences, yeah, I think <laughs> people will see that right away. It's uh, Disney, but actually also, uh, yeah, Looney Tunes, and but but those are the old uh, stuff. I also have a, a lot of, uh, yeah, uh, artists that influence me, like Cory Cory Loftus or Creature Box, and a lot more. Can you make a series of plants like creatures, please? Maybe, that sounds fun. Maybe I'm gonna do that uh, in my sketchbook uh, soon. Hi Mitch, is it possible to pur purchase your tu tutorial book? Uh, somewhere. Best regards, love your work. Um, not yet, I'm working on it. And it's slowly getting along. So yeah, thanks. If you're a new artist and want to work on films, what's one tip? Uh, you should always remember. It's really good if you know what you want to achieve. If you want to work in animation or, or whatever, so you can work uh, towards it like but it's also really good to be really specific about it uh, for example if you want to uh, be a storyboard artist you can really focus on that or if you want to be an environment artist you can really focus on environments or a character artist you can really focus on that and so yeah pick something you really like and go for it and to be honest, I do all kinds of things. I like doing environments, I like doing characters, I like doing quick sketches. So maybe I will be a bit more successful if I just choose one thing and really focus on that. I don't know. I don't know if I really should do that or, yeah. or not. Because yeah, I also just enjoy doing the different stuff. What are your inspiration and where do you get them? A lot of questions about the inspiration. Um, yeah, what I told, yeah, just around me from different artists and, uh, and so on. Um, something in Russian, I don't speak Russian. How did you find your style? Um, yeah, just by drawing a lot and don't worry about it that much. I don't think I have really an own style, but maybe if you, you can say my style is a bit Disney, Disney-like. And yeah. 
Uh, how long is your daily train ride from where to where? Um, I'm living in Almere, the Netherlands, and I work in Amsterdam. And the train ride is 30 minutes. And yeah, then I have to uh, I, I cycle a piece from here to the station, and in Amsterdam, I take the subway. What is your inspiration? Uh, yeah, a lot of the old cartoons. And last month I saw Incredibles 2 and that really inspired me. All the art books. I do have a lot of uh, art books. I stopped buying them because, yeah, because of the internet and the computer. I just <laughs> look up uh, on Pinterest and, and stuff. I also have a folder on my computer and beside Pinterest uh, on my computer and I always store the drawings there and I have folders with different categories and uh, yeah uh, and sometimes I watch in them if I if I'm looking for something what's your favorite animal to draw who I think bears because they're funny and human like like they're like fat fat human beings and you can yeah they have very, you can do a lot of expressions with your head and uh, yeah I did drew them a lot so I think yeah it, uh, it, the answer is beers um, what inspired you to be an artist when I was a child I like to draw a lot so yeah um, basically <laughs> I think that's the main reason and I just kept on drawing until at one point I figured out I could make a living with drawing and graphical design so yeah that's when I decided I wanted to be a professional artist if you can say it like that how long have you been drawing for um, as a child I always drew a lot and at an early age I wanted to be a Disney animator but the dream uh, got away and then when I was 19 um, I got offered a job at an uh, agency and then I decided I wanted to be an illustrator and that is 12 years ago so 12 for 12 years I'm really trying to uh, be a professional artist can you do more video about painting on Wacom yeah I'm actually doing this right now and I would like to do that more but yeah it cost it cost uh, time so hopefully I could do it more maybe if I have enough following so then I could <laughs> maybe earn a bit from it and then then that way I can could spend more time on it because today I'm uh, yeah these days I'm really busy with work and my personal projects and other stuff and I don't always have time to make these videos especially not to ed edit the videos I would love to but yeah just, just not the time for it sorry sorry so and let me look at the next question um, what is your favorite media to use uh, I liked uh, I really like sketching in my sketchbook but on the PC I use Photoshop to draw Which is the best book for creature design or illustration for a creature? There is an artist who's really specialized on creature design, but I don't know the name, but you could look at uh, Creature Box that does it really well. And there is one book, but I can't find the name. Maybe I will post it. Uh, post it later uh, how do you draw human bodies 
do a lot of figure drawing and if you don't have any figure drawing um, figure drawing classes in your neighborhood you can go to YouTube and go to Croquis Cafe um, or Google figure drawing and then you can find figure drawing videos and yeah just start practicing that and also look for yeah how realistic do you want to go I know some basic human uh, anatomy but uh, for the characters I draw a basic understanding is enough because I don't uh, draw super realistic characters like you can see here Pie or cake? Hmm, I think cake. I really like cake. How you find your style? Don't worry about style, just keep drawing a lot. What was the hardest task in your art career that you had to face? A lot, not something specific. Sometimes you get the task and you think, oh, oh I'm not going to do that. But those are points are the most important then you're going to dr uh, grow more video tutorials on YouTube uh, yeah I want to <laughs> uh, how do you draw scenery uh, learn perspective first and maybe do some uh, studies of, of movies and um, look up environment artist and learn composition and stuff like that and then yeah just uh, that's the thing with drawing you learn by doing it and if you start doing it and you post it on on youtube and for example me or an other artist you can ask, hey, uh, am I doing this right? Can you give me some tips? Uh, what, what, what should I focus on? Then, yeah, just do it and then ask for feedback from, from people. At what age did your art improve? Um, I don't know. I think it was at the early age that people say, oh, you can draw uh, really good. But I think that's just because I was always drawing and yeah so that's important oh, do this uh, there's a question in Dutch about my education I did go to a multimedia education so I'm not really focused on uh, character design. So yeah, that was uh, I I learned most through internet and just doing a lot and asking feedback from people and I think that's the most important. If you can go to good art school, great, do it. But I think you learn the most from. Um, yeah, good art books and uh, watching interviews from artists and figure out how they learned and uh, yeah, look at your favorite artist and study those drawings and, and figure out what you want to learn. Yeah, there's so much stuff on YouTube nowadays with how to draw and, and, and stuff. How did you get so good at drawing? <laughs> I think there's no secret or, or there is a secret and that secret is draw, draw, draw. Draw a lot, don't give up. Um, like with, oh, how do you know what to draw? Don't think too much, just pick something and start doing it. And then when you have better e ID, start doing that. And but the important thing is to draw a lot. Um, 
What inspires you the most? I think different artists. Where do you get your inspiration from? Uh, yeah, this <laughs> I did that question before. Who is your biggest inspiration to have you base or style? Um, yeah, there are so many, so so many. Um, how difficult is it to get into the animation business? <laughs> I think it's quite hard. There are so many talent and. Uh, I'm now working in the game industry and I would love to go more into uh, animation uh, industry so I'm still trying and yeah it's quite quite hard I heard from some people that once you're in um, into it it's it's a bit easier because then you have one foot in uh, into the door how do you draw Sure, straight lines. Um, in Photoshop, I use the smoothing for 10% because if I don't turn it on, you get sometimes you get jittered lines, and so that helps. I don't turn it too high because then you get artificial fake lines. But yeah, and. Um, in my sketchbook, yeah, it's a stupid answer, but it's just practice, practice, practice. And you will get better at that. Um, what is your favorite drawing that you've done? Oh, that's hard. Um, sometimes I c I'm not really, yeah, sometimes I find it really difficult to be happy with the drawing. But I think, yeah, some environment sketches I did, I think, are the best I did, and I want to grow in that. How can I learn to draw without reference? Um, I think you do that by drawing with reference, so just keep drawing a lot with reference, and don't worry a bit uh, too much about it. Uh, like poses, um, I almost never draw a character without a photo um, or sometimes I go post it out myself and make a picture of it of, or I always have a mirror be, uh, besides me so I can so it's good to draw with reference and a lot of people ask me yeah how can I learn to draw without reference but I think a better question is yeah how can I use reference the best and yeah so keep keep using reference uh, do you think it's too late to do a degree of illustration after they're 30 years old wow that's hard I think that that really depends on so many stuff um, I think you're never too too old to start doing what you love, and but yeah, you also have to earn your breath. So um, yeah, you have to figure that out for yourself, and maybe you can uh, you can start practicing beside your day job or. Maybe if you can afford to go to an art school, do it. Um, try it, because if you don't try it, you always get that question in your head. And at one point in my life, I was uh, on a laboratorium technology education, so not, no art education. And at then one point I had to decide oh, I'm going to continue with this education or I start focusing on art education. And I choose for art and I think that was yeah, a really good decision in my life because if I didn't do that, I probably always would have wondered uh, how my life would have go gone if I, um, 
if I didn't make if I didn't go for arts education. What tools are used for cleaning line art in digital painting? Uh, here you can see it right now. Uh, I'm now using Photoshop. And now I'm using, yeah, I'm doing it this style. It's, yeah, still have a lot of work to do. But yeah, I use Photoshop and I have also some other tutorials where I render in some different styles so yeah do you have a youtube yeah i have youtube you're watching this probably on youtube what should i input into my portfolio as the beginner um Think about what you want to become. If you want to be a character artist, put character art in your portfolio. If you want to be an environment artist, put environments in your portfolio. So yeah, that's really important. I saw your interview about LinkedIn, how to get referenced by someone. Um, I think you get referenced by someone on LinkedIn if you worked with people together. And uh, yeah, it's, th that's the thing. You start, you need to, yeah, work at places to get the reference or maybe if you're on a school you can be referenced by uh, other students in your school better be jack of all trades or specialist i think it's better to be a specialist uh, if you want to work at a big studio but in small studios, like the company I'm now working for, uh, we need uh, a yeah, jack of all trades. Uh, because we're a small studio, so you're, uh, for example, yeah, you work in a, in a, on a game and sometimes you're the only artist. So then you have to do the animations and uh, character art and the logo design, UI design and so on. So yeah that is uh, uh, yeah that's the thing. Um, maybe one question. Is practicing and learning through Instagram online course enough to improve in drawing? Uh, could be, depends really on yourself. Uh, the most important thing is to draw a lot. Um, I do that by sketching in the evening, like now, and in the train. So, yeah. I think that's it. Um, Thanks everyone for the questions. Uh, maybe I will do it later again. Um, I think my next video will be about my art books and what books really can help you. So yeah, thanks, uh, thanks all. <laughs>